Happy May 2nd, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party were able to convince the Queen Bee that we are here to help. And with Disco's help on one of the dexterity checks, we broke all four of the shackles that were binding the Queen. She was grateful momentarily, but then it began to become clear that she wants revenge on Blight, Deathclaw, and his gang, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Looks like combat. Blight, Deathclaw, and his entire gang burst into the chamber, determined to stop you. The queen, spotting their intrusion, commands the worker bees to attack. Chaos ensues as swords clash and bees buzz through the air. Blight, with a personal vendetta against you, locks onto your presence and charges in your direction. So see special combat instructions. I do not see any hidden icons on this page. All right, here we go. The chamber becomes a chaotic swarm of bees, making it difficult to engage in combat without harming the innocent creatures in the confusion. Engage in combat. Combat for day today will operate in the following ways. The number of bee helpers you've acquired along the way will help you in the chaos. We've got two. You will make an intellect roll to avoid confusion during combat. That's d20 plus intellect plus B helpers. Our intellect is plus zero. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Confusion will cause you to do less damage. See below. You'll continue to repeat the combat round until you have dealt enough damage to defeat the enemy. You will roll to determine your opponent's damage against you for each round. Uh, there's the stats, and we've got the normal, I think, combat instructions, except for this part here. If your intellect roll is less than the feather, you are confused this round. Reroll your damage. Take the new result only if it's less than your first damage roll. Okay. And, okay. If you did not defeat Blight, repeat the combat round until you die. <laughs> or the opponent is defeated. Alright, well, here we go. Um, first, we roll attack. You'll make an intellect roll. Let's do the, let's do the intellect roll first. To see if we're confused. So round one, here's our d24. <laughs> Plus two is six. We are confused. <laughs> so even if we hit, let's see if we hit 17 plus 5 to attack, we do hit him. <coughs> um, but we're going to roll our damage twice and take the lowest result. So our damage is 2d8. That is not too shabby. So our first roll, we get a 4. Second roll, we get a 6. So we do 4 damage. Um, where are we going to write this down? Let's write this down right here. So, Blight is down to 26. Um, the enemy is not defeated, so it attacks us. We have to defend against an attack of 13. We get 10, but our defense is plus 6, so we easily defend. Um, normally, there's partial damage on defense, but it looks like there's just no damage if we defend. Uh, yeah, I think that's correct. Okay, round two. Let's attack. Oh boy, yeah, let's roll that again. Sixteen plus. Oh well, that's a hit. <laughs> no matter what we add, so we hit him. Let's see if we're confused this round, and we are. <laughs> so uh, I got a two there. Um, so here's our first damage roll. It's five. And five again, so we do five points of damage. So Blight Deathclaw is down to. Oh, you know what? Well, never mind. I, I realized I wasn't adding the B helpers to our confusion roll, but our rolls have been so low, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, what did I do? We just damaged him. 
Now we want to defend against an attack of 13. We get a 5 plus 6 is 11. Um, should we use a luminous shield? Let's. Um, if we use a surge on a luminous shield, we'll add d4. 11. We just need it. We just need two. So let's do it. So we get a three. So we successfully defend with our luminous shield. All right. That was round two. Round three. Let's see if we hit him. 14 plus our attack of five is 19. We do hit him. Let's see if we're still confused by all the chaos in the room. We are. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting terrible rolls on that. It's three plus zero plus two. So we are confused. So we're doing okay, though. Let's see. Nine on that damage roll and six on that damage roll. So we do six points of damage to Blight Deathclaw. He is down to 15. Now, we defend against his attack. We need a 13 or better. We get 12. Let's do another luminous shield. Um, we roll a d4. It doesn't matter what we roll here. We'll make it. We get a 1. That's enough. And uh, we take no damage again. Yeah, this is important because I, I forgot. Our health is fairly low right now. <laughs> We're 10 out of 17. So uh, even more reason to use that luminous shield. That was round 3. Round 4... We attack, we get a 9, plus a 5 is 14, that's enough to hit him. Are we confused? 5, yes we are, we're still confused. Uh, we're having a tough time in this chaotic, uh, in this chaotic room. Our first damage roll is 9, our second damage roll is 16, oh that would have been awesome. Oh well, we do 9 damage, that's still a lot, he's down to 6 damage. Or, sorry, six health. So, that is great. Let's see. We want to defend against his attack of... Oh, we get a 20. Natural 20. That gives us a boon die. And we defend successfully, so we take no damage. I believe this is round five. We will attack. 19. That hits easily. Are we confused? 14? We're not. We finally got our bearings. Excellent. Okay, so we are going to roll 2d8 and take whatever we get. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> I don't think I could do that if I tried. We'll leave it, I guess. There's a 6. Okay, and that's enough. <laughs> that kills him. Okay, Blight Deathclaw is done. He is defeated. Once you defeat the enemy, collect d10 amber for defeating the enemy. Perfect. All right. Find a D10 here. Where's our D10? There we go. Seven amber. That brings us to 30. We gained a boon die as well, which we didn't have to use. And Blake Call is defeated. Fantastic. Okay. I'm just looking at this image of all of the gang members fleeing for their lives with these bees. It looks like they're carrying pots of burning honey. Maybe it's just splashing. Okay. <laughs> well, in any case, that, my friends, is May 2nd. So, we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.